Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Ready Life. And in this video, I'm going to show you the current weekly template that I'm using in OneNote. So I used to post monthly plan with me videos, but I don't do much monthly planning now that I'm getting deeper into GTD or the getting things done system. I've been rereading GTD for a while now and streaming it on the channel. So if you're interested in the getting things done system, there'll be a link to that playlist in the description. Once I got deeper into GTD, I started to realize that the monthly planning I was doing just kind of laid alongside and it wasn't really knitted tightly into GTD. So I stopped doing it, but I'm not far enough along with my GTD implementation or comfortable enough with my system that I can work just from the next action list as GTD suggests. At the moment, I have far too many next actions on my plate to feel comfortable that I could make good decisions just working from those lists. And I also just don't like looking for, looking at all those lists every time I need to make a decision about what to do next. So that may change in the future, or I may continue to do some variation on what I'm doing now. So what I started with was a simple weekly spread in OneNote that has my daily routines and other things that I do every day, and then room for about three tasks outside of those routines. I know in the morning I can just grab a few important items and that if I just get those things done, plus most of my routines, I'm good for the day. So this type of planning, kind of establishing your priorities in the morning as shown on my screen is not strictly keeping with GTD. One of the reasons for this is that priorities can change many times throughout the day and interruptions and surprises also happen. But for me, I just like to start there and if need be, I can adapt and not do those things that I picked out in the morning, but I at least like to know what the top three or so things are in the morning uh, so that I have a place to kind of start for the day. And this process of picking out just a few important items for me is really good right now because, as I mentioned, I don't really have full confidence in my GTD system. Most of the stuff I deal with just needs to be done kind of soon. And if I uh, go through and pick out anything that's like super hot, has to be done today, then I know that everything else I get done is just kind of a bonus. Like it, it's those soon type of tasks. I do aspire to get to a level of GTD clarity where I don't need to do this every morning, but realistically, I'm not there yet. So this is what's working right now. So on your screen right now is a copy of my blank weekly template. In the notebook that I call my bullet journal, that's kind of where I keep all of my life stuff, I keep a section of blank copies of things that I use on a regular basis. When I need a new copy, I just make one and leave the original intact. Let's go through what's on this weekly template and then I'll show you how I make and use it. So the top row is the days of the weeks, obviously. And then I would go through and put the dates in on this second row. Under that is um, a section for all the things I do just about every day. So I set up my day, clean the kitchen, feed the dogs, work on my GTD implementation. And then the next two are German language apps that I'm working on. Um, I'm actually, I'm learning German right now so that I can participate more in the OneNote Masterclass. Uh, that's a German language OneNote learning community run by Kurt Suzer, who is based in Europe. And yeah, I'm actually learning a, another language to be part of it. It's that good. Uh, I'm also working on translating a piece of German content to help my learning. I try and do like one bulk cooking item every day, uh, and I follow the Fly Lady system, so there's always a bit of zone work to do, and I have a video on the Fly Lady system if you want to see that, but that's um, a section of your house that you clean. I do uh, a declutter session, 15 or 30 minutes each day, and then I do the whole house shine is a Fly Lady thing. She calls it the whole house blessing. Uh, that's a cleaning task, and you can do that in one hour once a week. I like to break it up so I'm doing about one task a day. And then I work on, work on my postal mail and paperwork. So those are all like, that's kind of like a daily routine. The next row down is for sunset and sunrise times. And then the bottom is duration. So I just like to keep track of that. I find it interesting to see how the sunrise and sunset changes throughout the year. And then these are just um, emojis I get by using hitting windows and the period key at the same time. The next line down is for my morning and evening supplements. 
And then here is uh, where I pick out three personal tasks for the day. I am very guilty of regularly putting more than three on here. I try not to, but I'm working on it. The next section down is kind of my daily routine for work stuff. So I have a workday startup checklist that I do, and that kind of just clears the deck, make sure I've uh, checked all my socials, checked all my notifications, all my emails and stuff. Then I check my editorial calendar to see what the next tasks I have to do. I update all my content checklists, and then I update my editorial calendar when I'm done. And then there are specific work tasks on the bottom that I need to do, up to three. Down here in the lower right, these kind of just happened by ac accident. They're just blank because I don't do these things regularly on the weekends. Like I might do some work or a personal task on the weekend, but I don't like to have it pre-scheduled. So these blank table cells just came about organically as a really great place to capture things on the fly. I'm on this page a whole lot, so when something com new comes in, I can just drop it in there and I know it's captured and that I'll take care of it when I do my weekly review and set up for the next week. The other thing I wanted to point out is at the top of this, it says blank weekly with routines version four. So this is the fourth version since I made this. And if you do this, you can also keep some sort of version number as well. Um, so I have the prior versions and then as I update it, I just keep a new version of it. When I need to do this each week, I create a blank copy. Um, and the, you can do that by copying the full page or just copying the text container that contains the table. And this is a Microsoft OneNote table. So if I wanted to copy this whole page, I could right click over the page name and then click move or copy. And then I would create a copy and put it where I want it. If I want to just copy the table itself, I can collect, select the text container, right click, and then do copy, and then I would paste it where I wanted it. So I want to show you how I made this in the first place. It's very simple. It is just a Microsoft OneNote table. So I'm on a blank page. I'm going to click insert table. Now in my case, I used seven columns wide by eight deep. So you'd probably want seven across. So you have seven days of the week and mine happens to be eight. Yours can be whatever you want. And then you would fill in the days of the week. And if you like something a little bit, if you like the things to look a certain way, you can center this. So you select that top row, click the drop down, and center it. In my case, this is for the date, and I fill that in each week. And then you can do, maybe it's your morning routine. And you can use the uh, to-do tag. And this is going to be the same through the whole week, so I'm just going to select this te the text in this box. I'm going to hit Control c and then Control v to paste it into the rest of the week. Now you can add whatever you want in here. In my case, I did the sunrise and sunset and my supplements and then my work routines. Uh, so you could copy this same idea, like just put the content in on Mondays and then copy it over. You can also start your week on Sunday if you want. And then just a couple other things you can add in. Um, if you want to use emojis just for some fun and some color, you can hit the windows and period key at the same time and you get an emoji checklist. So maybe that's for your workouts. Maybe this is for stop and take a break, whatever. But it's fun. They show up nice and big and, and bold and clear. Then um, you can also add color. So if this is your morning routine, maybe you want this to be something like, say, yellow, because it's kind of like bright like the morning sun. So in the table menu, I'm clicking shading, and I'm going to use this top one to get a nice yellow color. And then maybe if this was your bedtime routine, you might want to make this, like, let's say maybe a dark blue. So again, I'm in the table menu, shading, and we'll use blue. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is that you can add links to this. So again, you're going to copy either the entire page or just the table. So if you wanted to copy, say, the entire page, you could put um, links over here. 
So one link you might want to have is your local school district. I'm going to highlight that and click insert link and it's asking me where I want to go and, I, and I'm, I'm in Los Angeles so that would be lausd.net. Now we have a link to my local school and you could put in whatever whatever you need there. Maybe you want a weather app or um, you know if you're part of a sports team or something like that. Then when you if you copy this entire page each time you use it those links will come with you. And then I want to just again suggest that you let this evolve over time. Like if you realize you need to add something you can add that to your blank copy and then each time you copy it you get that new change. And then you can also keep, as I did, you can keep your prior versions so that each new version has a record of what's changed. So let me uh, show you how this has helped me having this template. Well, one is it forces me to pick one to three important items for the day in addition to my routines. Like the vast amount of stuff that I do fits into a routine somewhere. So I like having just this one to three tasks. Now, again, in full transparency, I do often go way over three, but one to three is ideal. I'm working toward not ever having more than three because it's not really useful or helpful. The second thing is that this focuses on routines. So I like to create some sort of a process, a routine, or a checklist as much as possible. We all have so much complexity in our lives and being able to simplify things by creating a template or dashboard for recurring processes can be really helpful. This template gives me everything I need to just kind of go about my life from day to day. Once I set it up in the morning, I can just work from this page all day long. I never need to go to another source. And it also um, allows me to allocate my time each day. Um, so I kind of have a set of th list of things I do in the morning and then in the rest of the day, and it kind of splits my work in personal time almost as a template for my time. It's really helpful because I know that I have to get a certain amount of household things done and personal things. And then when I'm done, it lets me, you know, do the same for my work. And it helps me to work around any big scheduled things or big rocks for the day. So that is my uh, weekly template that I'm using right now. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you found it useful, maybe you'll be inspired to create a template uh, for your use, either daily or weekly or for some other purpose. If you like this video, please let YouTube know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this or content on the Getting Things Done system and on personal organization, then I would love it if you subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.